D locations. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We're continuing tonight's theme of directors on film, and up next, another movie with a movie director as one of the lead characters. From MGM in 1962, it's Two Weeks in Another Town. The film stars Kirk Douglas as a washed-up movie star fresh from being institutionalized for three years following a nervous breakdown. His doctors allow him to travel to Rome, where one of his former directors, played by Edward G. Robinson, has offered him a small role in a film he's making. Once Douglas lands in Rome, he soon realizes that the movie is in much bigger trouble than he thought. The film's producer is starting to panic. Robinson is going over budget. The leading lady can barely speak English. And the male lead, played by George Hamilton, has problems of his own. Things only get worse when Douglas's unstable ex-wife, played by Sid Charisse, arrives on the scene. Based on a novel by Irwin Shaw, Two Weeks in Another Town was written by Charles Schnee, produced by John Houseman, and directed by Vincent Minnelli. Schnee, Hausman, Minnelli, and Douglas worked together 10 years earlier on 1952's The Bad and the Beautiful, which was also an indictment of the occasionally sleazy Hollywood system. In fact, scenes from The Bad and the Beautiful are incorporated into this film in a scene where Douglas and Robinson reminisce about their past successes. Also starring Dahlia Lavi and Claire Trevor, and in a small but memorable role, singer Leslie Uggams. Here's Two Weeks in Another Town. 